So the question is, guys, is it time to remove your cryptocurrency from KuCoin Exchange? Um, and I would say the answer is yes. I've, I've taken all mine out. Um, it's just simply not worth the risk. If, if KuCoin go under, they go bankrupt and they'll take all your crypto to pay off all the, um, well, I don't know what they call it, the debtors. Is it the debtors? So if they're in debt, they'll have to pay them off first. Okay. And guess who comes last? Yeah, that's right. The retailers, that's you and me. Okay. You'll get nothing or barely anything. Okay. Unless somebody like Sam Bankman Fried from FTX comes in and bails KuCoin out, you know, pumps a load of money to buy it off and, and, and pay off um, retailers and all of that just to keep them happy. But I don't think that's going to happen. You know, Voyager, Celsius, um, uh, there's too many of these these companies that are all you know arc free investment there's too many all connected that seem to have holes in the financials okay so i'm sort of making this video to warn you guys if you've got money on kucoin crypto on kucoin then you should really uh, think about moving it either to um a, a, a wallet your own wallet Okay, which is probably the safest thing. So, or you could move it to another centralized exchange such as FTX or Binance. So I'd recommend FTX or Binance as the, the two uh, central ex exchanges which are, are safe at the moment, okay? Um, I can't imagine Binance going under, if I'm honest with you, it's, it's too big. And I think a lot of people may be moving their crypto from these smaller exchanges like KuCoin to Binance. Okay, that's what I've done anyway. So and if you just have a look on Twitter and just look at this tweet, Johnny KuCoin, beware of FUDs. Not sure who's spreading these sheer rumors or what their intentions are, but KuCoin does not have any exposure to Luna, 3AC, Babel, etc. No immense suffer from any coin collapse. No plan to halt withdrawal. Everything on KuCoin is operating well. Okay. The FUD is going to FUD, 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 while the builder's going to build, build, build. Okay, it's all right, send you that. But let's have a look at KuCoin. Okay, so this is the account of KuCoin. Pin tweet. Okay. Got something about Gleam and Starly, some random coins as usual on KuCoin. And then who kind of retweeted this from Johnny KuCoin, okay. Then there's how to use Bollinger Bands. Learn and earn. June the 14th, $300 quiz time. Now, what I would say is, why isn't KuCoin? I mean, who the hell is Johnny KuCoin? I don't know, he's just some random person, okay. But KuCoin have not come out with a statement saying, don't worry, guys, we've got all of this. You can have a look at it on the blockchain. We've got all of this money in reserve and all of that. We're fine. There's no, there's no financial hole or anything in our, in our books or, or whatever. You can look at our ledger. You know, it's all on the blockchain, blah, blah, blah. Okay. They haven't come out and stated that. There's a lot of FUD going around. Uh, and they've, they've had plenty of time to put some it together and put it out, put a tweet out to sort of say, relax, guys, everything's fine. Okay. So I would suggest because they haven't done anything like that, I would say things are not fine on KuCoin. Okay. And that is why I'm suggesting to you better be safe than sorry and take your money out of KuCoin, protect your assets. It's just not worth it. It'll take you like 10 minutes to sort out a transfer out. Okay, with all the faffing around with um, authenticators and all of that kind of thing, if you've got 2FA on. So sort it out, 10 minutes. If you've got $500 on KuCoin or something, or whatever it is you've got on there, you know, take it off. I transferred all my money to USDT on KuCoin. Trans, uh, I traded it to Algo, and then I moved it off using Algo, because it, Algo is one of the fastest to move off. Okay, so that's what I did. Um, it's up to you if you want to do the same, you know, or if you want to take your chances and leave it on. Um, it's entirely up to you, but 
Um, I, I've taken my money off. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. Okay. 